Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Yang Li from Huawei Technologies. I'm in charge of ecosystem development and IoT marketing. It is my honor to share with you the latest, the latest 5G commercialization progress and the new businesses that 5G enables. All the top five chipset of the 5G terminals have announced they are going to release the 5G terminal chipset in this year. And all the 19 top smartphone vendors have announced that they will commercially deliver their 5G terminals in this year. They will provide more than 40 models of 5G terminals. It is the first time for the mobile industry to simultaneously commercial both the network and the terminals, and the terminals simultaneously. So it's really amazing. If we look at the history, it took 3G for 10 years to gain the first 500 million users and five years for LTE. But we predict for 5G, it will only take three years. So 5G commercialization is much faster than we have imagined. Five G sales is able to provide more than ten times capacity that LTE cell can provide. It is so fast that it uh, it allows us to consider maybe we can use five G in some scenarios that we used to do with fiber. For example, we are able to use five G as home broadband or office broadband. 5G seamlessly works with LTE. This will allow people to enjoy the service continuity even when the 5G has just deployed in the hot support scenarios. Of course, vendors like Huawei, we work hard to simplify the deployment of 5G. For example, we make the 64 TRX massive memo antenna only 40 kilograms weight. This allows one single worker to install such advanced antenna to the site. This will significantly improve the operator to deploy the 5G base station in large scale. Besides, Inside of the AI, inside of the 5G networks, AI is widely used. We use it to simplify, for example, operation and maintenance of 5G networks. For example, nowadays, we will use the AI algorithm to automatically configure 90% of those configuration data which were used to be configured manually. Again, 5G is so fast. It allows us to move some of the local computation and storage resources from a local terminal to the cloud, just as what we did with the fiber before. For example, nowadays, we can move the, GP, the most advanced GPU from the terminal side to the cloud side. This will significantly reduce the price of the terminals. Maybe today, the very expensive gaming terminals have blocked people from playing the games. But with 5G, when we deployed the GPU in the cloud, we will use the GPU in the cloud to produce the most complex and the beautiful gaming video. 
people always love high quality gaming video, but we simply have to balance it with battery consumption, with the terminal price. Now with 5G, we move the GPU to the cloud and then download the gaming video simply from the cloud to the terminals. 5G, for 5G, it is not a challenging job to download the video, although it could be a challenge to really produce such beautiful but complex video. Now we come to the very famous use cases, that is the V2X. Today, all the car OEMs and, I, and IT vendors have agreed the autonomous driving is the solution to reduce the accidents on the roads to improve the traffic efficiency. According to USA Department of Transportation, about 96% of the accidents on the road are avoidable. 45% among which are avoidable through either the advanced driver assistant system or through the CV2X communication system. But for the other 36% of the accidents can only be avoided through the CV2X system. Basically, what the ADES can do, it will help the driver to learn what they can see with their own eyes. However, the CV2X is helping the drivers to learn what they cannot see with their own eyes. For example, to help them to see whether there is a pedestrian walking on the street, but in the dark, or to help the driver to see the the view before the lorry in front of this vehicle so that the driver can judge whether he should take over, overtake this, this lorry or not, okay? So from this point of view, again, this CV2X and uh, the ADES together will make the autonomous driving happen. In last year, Huawei has already released the first CV2X chipset. And now in this year, in our first 5G chipset, the Balloon 5000, it also supports the CV2X functions. The other ICT vendors, like Qualcomm, they have also announced or released the CV2X chipset as well. So now we call for partners to work with us to provide more devices for vehicle and also for pedestrians. From pedestrian's point of view, the device, maybe the smartphone, may also be some other kind of a wearable device. And also we encourage customers to help to collect the data from the existing infrastructure, like the traffic management system, and fill them into the CV2X, and let the drivers to use those data used to be only in the traffic management system. The last, but the most fundamental one, is the so-called facility layer software. It is defined by the ETSI, the European Telecom Standards Institute, long time ago. It is the protocol for vehicle to communicate with other, with other vehicle or other pedestrian or the roads. So this is the, the software layer beyond the transportation technologies but under the application layers. So this is why we call it facility layer. So for this part, it is a bit related to the local regulation. 
Europeans is different from China's one. So now we call for partners to help to develop this part of the software because all the CV2X terminals and the systems will need this facility layer. Okay, the last. Different sectors will have so different requirements for the communication in terms of bit rate, latency, and the reliability. Maybe you already know the IEC, the International Electrotechnical Commission. They've defined more than 20 industrial Ethernet protocol families to meet different uh, communication requirements from different uh, sectors. And uh, those enterprises intend to use any communication technologies in an exclusive way because they want to secure their data will be delivered in a deterministic uh, deterministic way. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What's, the, what's this? Because they want to make sure the data must be delivered or must be received in the predefined time slot. If the schedule said, let us deliver the data every 10 milliseconds, you can only deliver the data every 10 milliseconds, no early, no late. So that's why vertical sectors always use the communication system in such an ex exclusive way. Nowadays, Vodafone and Huawei are working together on the so-called mobile private networks to support enterprises to use 5G in such an exclusive way to secure the deterministic delivery of their data. 3GPP has defined how 5G system can interconnect with the most popular industrial Ethernet protocol, that is IEEE, time-sensitive network. Now we call for partners to work with us to integrate 5G with other industrial networks. 5G is on, let us use it to improve our productive efficiency. Thank you very much.